Leave me alone, jackass. I can't deal with your weird hobbies anymore. Look, I care what you think, jerk. Did I interrupt something between you two? Oh yeah, so I'll have to give you that stupid fleet. And you literally just invited me, now you're like... Well, I guess you're having an argument with your boyfriend or something, and... <laughs> now you just, just like... Um, so there's things called a mackerel, and apparently eating it has a horrible effect on androids. Okay, well it's a very oily fish. Let's see what it does, so go ahead and chow it down. Don't blame me if you die though. Hey there, listen, just ignore that guy. Selfish fool refused to help me with my work. I'm doing a study on the excitement levels of androids while in battle. I'm not seeing the other excitement levels. I need to record combat data from the newest models in order to reach more study conclusions. What do you think? I'm sure. Here, follow me. Bye. Your loss. All right, see that jerk over there? I need you to get And the two dead bodies anymore. near him. Science will pay you back for this, I promise. Science. Now, fight. Or science. Oh, he's a level 20. Um a nature of an Andrew saw a machine behind a tree in a confusing place. Alpha. <laughs> you you beat him up whilst I'm picking up these dead bodies. I'm a proud man, so soldiers protecting their land on a collapsed building. Ake Siyogi. Okay. Hello, it's K again. Melee defense, shockwave, taunt. That was a level 20. Hmm. I don't know about that. That, like, I'm only level 14. That didn't feel as strong as the level 20 boss we just fought. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that was great. Was it? I just stood there and shot it while I was picking up dead bodies. Hey, do you know that Android Battle Fever is actually quite similar to the human evolution of love, really? So if we want to know about all those old human records that are always going on about, all we need to do is let our fists fly. Somehow I don't feel like that's the same. Like, I know there's arguments in love and relationships and things and... Uh, <laughs> Makes the whole thing feel more romantic that no, like the arguments are not the romance and the love. Like they come with emotions, but don't have enough data. Could use some. Yes, you could definitely use more information about love. Um, wipe out these enemies over there without taking any damage. Like oh, that's easy. We just literally took no damage. Command was not executed correctly. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't dodge in time. Yeah, like arguments and stuff are part of relationships, especially when strong feelings are involved. <laughs> okay. I will come back. I will do this. Jackass. Yes. See, the trouble is three of them are different and that actually like slows us down once we do that skill thing so we probably shouldn't do that okay they're actually not that hard i'm just causing myself to have a cool down by doing the stupid skill <laughs> i shouldn't have activated the skill it stopped me moving hi jackass Yes, I love you, your Hagoons, I really do. Look at all the data. Speaking of your Hagoons, I'm a bit surprised you types are so intellectual. I thought combat models would be a bit more dense, less thinking and more killing and all that. Frankly, given your kind of intellect, it all strikes me as pointless. Really? <laughs> given any intellect or combat unit strikes them as pointless? More data, I need more data, you can help me right away! Rhetorical question, by the way. 
Um, Salam, I like your gut. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Um, take care of those enemies in 30 seconds or less. Okay. The good job we can do a lot of damage pretty quickly, right? Also, I'm paying attention to the wrong character. Ooh, 29 seconds. <laughs> 29 seconds. No problem. For like several level 20 units, whilst we are very low level. I guess that's why it had to not be hard. Holy crispy crap on a stick. Now, this is data. See, the reaction proves that Android Brains contain an algorithm which allows them to drive pressure from battle. Without that, we would probably have stopped fighting a long time. What a brutally efficient piece of evolution. It's possible that based on the identical pleasure center of the human brain, I know it's less right really. Didn't see a bit more data! A guinea pig gal, look at that. Um, wipe out those enemies in 30 seconds or less and don't take any damage. Fuck me. And they are electrically inclined. Now this is asking a little bit much. <laughs> that was asking a little bit too much. <laughs> um, about this mackerel you gave me. Mackerel, caught in the sea, can be exchanged for money. Can eat it. An aquatic machine. You can't use that, but I can use the mackerel. Do you think it definitely won't send me crazy or anything? Holy mackerel. Resistance disappearance is this. Lemon Bee's Memento. Okay. That's like a huge area to go explore. Right, I'm going to go find this resist. Oh, this is more resistance, man. This is a big battle. <laughs> I, I don't actually want to fight the resistance, member. to be fair. Because resistance disappearing. Because I don't think they're the enemy. Chief the intel. I don't want to fight the resistance member. Well, <laughs> that's one way of smashing that. That's just gold. I mean, we got a fair bit of gold and experience out of helping you with these combat trials. I don't think they taught you anything on love, though. You know, the love is more of the closeness. And, like, it's hard to describe. But, yes, like, the fights and the intense feelings come with the love. Especially when you both feel it and like you live like so far away that you can't be together and do things and then that really causes like even more intense pain and hurt and things. Park ruins, the attraction, Pascal's village. But love isn't the fighting. That comes with this and yes there are intense feelings with it, but the Real love comes from the closeness and, you know, the being together and the warm feelings, you know, from speaking to each other and seeing each other and, like, you know, things like that. That's the real love. But I guess, you know, this android doesn't know that and is only getting, you know, 
Intense feelings of battle combat, which isn't the same. Like, you know, the, the fighting and the battling isn't the love. <laughs> That's something that can come with it, but it's not the love. Hello, Pascal. Um. Yes. Yes, they did. Our leader is betraying you. I'll help however I can. The aliens, you mean the ones that created us? I'm sorry, there's not much that I can tell you. We've been fighting for centuries without a single message for them. I guess you could say the fact that they never give us orders anymore is the reason why we quit fighting. Yes, to me. I found the aliens. Pascal. Yes, to me. Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? Hmm. I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the forest kingdom. You don't let us in there yet. Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. Forest thing. It's fucking Naruto. Hidden Leaf Forest Nation. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Hidden Leaf Village. The Forest Nation. A forest Nation is, um, Avatar, isn't it? <laughs> Where is it? Avatar the last word then. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. Like the level twenty five enemies that were stood in front of Sounds like something we should check out. It also sounds like something you claimed you'd seen before. <laughs> Mister Yes to me. It's been alive hundreds of years. We lost countless friends time and time again, but losing friends isn't what scares me living lovers is. What scares me is the fact that I've grown used to seeing these I care about die all around me. That's why I decided I had enough. Okay, fair enough. Nobody can blame you for... ...wanting to be passive. The Wandering Couple! Right, we did complete your stuff. John Paul's Melancholy! I have more presents. On your adoring fans. The first there's a body salute. I'm sorry. Proud man fought a brave battle against the garbage shop. Deadly heal, movement speed, evade range. I will take. Okay, Pascal. About your adoring fans you care nothing about, and they seem to love that you hate them and ignore them. Hello, John Paul. Do you have a moment? Moments are transitory, one cannot possess them. A moment passed is a moment lost. A symbol of idle, unrestrained apathy that... Can you just please take this present already? A gift? Let me see. Here you go. Ah, oh, yes, fascinating. Machina gave this to us, said you were both suspicious and alluring. It seems this so-called gift is nothing more than a piece of unadorned glass. Therefore, I can only surmise that, uh... You want us to bring the message back to the one we gave this to you? Is it a mere trifle? No! It's a piece of glass. It's not a trifle. Okay, then. Go. And yet, she will love him for not sending a message back or being thankful for... <laughs> Uh, thing. Whereas I appreciate nice and lovely gifts and send lovely gifts back, whether they are appreciated or not. Hi, I found your thing, you couple who are running away. That's it, now my companion can fix what's been ailing him. What's been ailing him? That his hands aren't tied behind his back like yours? <laughs> I'm so glad we trusted you. I'll leave this place as soon as you can. Please pray for our safe passage. Also pray for... Why are you still... Held hostage with your hands tied behind your back. Like... <laughs> I, I question that you two are a couple and you are willingly going with this guy when your hands are tied behind your back like that. I know he's got one on his hand like he'd freed himself, but... Are you sure you don't want me to untie you? 
Are you sure you're safe? I, I pray for you to be safe. I, I question your safety. Okay, more bodies. A lone pugilist fell along with the enemy over there. Hannah, old. Also, weapon attack up plus four. And bloom! I'll see me. I saw a machine buried in the center to manufacture the city. I saw two bodies. I rescued your dead bodies. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just stealing from you. Don't mind me. Um, I think if I had my fill in this place, get somewhere else to carry with me. Uh, punctuality. He's angry. So I'm trying to steal whatever this is. Thank you. Animal baits. Nothing interesting. Okay, let's get out of here. To the Forest Nation! I wonder if the gates will be open now. Probably not, right? So I'm trying to navigate before the camera gets taken out of my hands. Or is it going to be safe? It's going to be fine, right? Okay. Camera taken out of my hands. I feel... It's back there, isn't it? That way was the gate to the forest. Isn't it? Though you sent me back into Disneyland. Okay. To Disneyland! It would seem. Wondering Couple has been updated again. Okay, I guess now they've finally left on their merry way. <laughs> oh, you still want me to give you money, don't you? I mean, I liked the stuff that you gave us last time, so I guess I could invest some more. I probably have 10,000 again. Very wise, very wise. Bye. <laughs> Look forward to a fruitful work and relation with you in the future. Quite. I fell on my face. <laughs> Two days later, we break up. Very good. I've done it. Three sides of the sensors. One minute. I would like to, but I fell off. Impact bracer. Speed salve. Last, but sadly, this is staggering. The work team just exhausted my funding. I don't have any more money for you. I really thought you'd give me more than that. <laughs> the dead zone on my controller made me fall off, sir. I, I wasn't meaning to be rude. I still want to know if, like, maybe falling down those holes takes us somewhere. But I'm not doing it yet. It's tempting as that is. We've got business in Disneyland. Okay. I'm not going to make you passive again because you are just annoying to deal with. Like, you won't attack. The people that we really want to talk to, we will bite off the nonsense in the background. When no one is going to be harming us in Disneyland. You, you should not be attacking anyone in Disneyland. I just jump off. He can! That's unfair! <laughs> that is unfair. I I want to jump over the barrier like he just did. Bye. <laughs> I'm not allowed. You're going to make me go the long way around? Fine. We will go the long way around. But I wanted to jump over the fence. No messages on the gates. Like, we need to update her that, you know, John Paul doesn't care about her trifle glass. He didn't appreciate you giving him sky glass. Like, you know, it's like pointless, worthless. Hi. Did you give my gift to Master John Paul? 
I don't understand what he said. Well, he said it was a mere trifle. Such insight, such truth. He sees the core of things others cannot. I shall follow you for the rest of my days, Master John Paul. A long time. For a robot like you. Especially when you're such a young robot. Look, they're just having fun. Don't fight them. Could you stop shooting all of the robots? Uh, they're not doing anything to you. They're just mere level 10s. I mean, <laughs> I'll loot their scrap but it's just for a pathetic bit of gold. I'm, I'm not part of this. I'm sorry. I'm just making sure your souls are not wasted. <laughs> yeah, you saw nothing. Seriously, 9S, you need to stop there. Hold on. This is one of the places in that resistance member's photograph. It is. We better record the Dizzy coordinates. Lads. Is that all that we were coming here for? That wasn't for anything you see. There's someone... That is at Disneyland Gates, right? Yeah. Someone at the gates of Disneyland. Let's go! See what their quest is. Was that item there before? Hmm. Broken key. That's the other thing about this guy killing them all. Like, it might give me some resources but <laughs> I'm not gonna help fight them for you I you are you're all just fighting okay this person has a quest hello Here's your stamp card. If you collect the stamps, you'll win a free prize. Okay. Find stamps inside the amusement park. Make sure to search high and low. Just between you, me, and the prize of more than just free. They're deluxe. Off you go. Then have fun. <laughs> You're making me go on a treasure hunt. I can't resist. A drab bracelet, not a drag bracelet. I can't resist, I need to find stamps now. <laughs> Searching high and low, you say. But not on the building. So, I'm not going to specifically fight you. I would make him stop, but he's just awkward to program, I'm sorry. He, he kind of hates your... That sounds... I mean, it is quite racist. But he really hates your kind, robots. I'm sorry. I know we're androids as well. It is advisable to recover as many of these collectible items as possible. Proposal. But... Print the stamp upon the card. You mean I get you stamp it. it? Yep, stamp the stamp cards. But, you know, he is, he is quite racist, I'm sorry. He really hates your robot kinds, even though he is also android and kind of robot himself. Shattered earrings. Hi, what are you doing back here? So, so, uh, I guess that you want a dumb stamp, huh? Fine, I'll stamp it with my tears. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm I'm sorry. That is actually bad. You stamped a stamp book with your sad tears because you were afraid we were gonna murder you. Well, not me, 9S. I'm not gonna have any part in any more robot murder. 
But 9S, on the other hand. Like, he's perfectly happy to medi. Um, that probably means you have a stamp for me. Well, right, oh, you are new. It means you have the stamp. Creepy machine. Eh, uh, you want some stamps, eh? Eh? Yes, eh? Uh, uh, you want a stamp? No, I don't want to. But... That sounds like you, you're offering to... No. I, I don't want you to stamp me. I don't want you to stamp me. <laughs> we'll probably better do this on the way through in the first... Sorry, 9S is going to murder you. Uh, we look for stamps. We still need a way to open those boxes. That's got to be the stamp. Stamp discovered. Proposal. Got it. Imprint the stamp upon the card. We did it. And like one of the stamps is just a robot's tears. <laughs> Are they beating up the save point again? Did it disable that permanently for us? Because they were beating it up. Wonder. <laughs> Just lamps. <laughs> I thought maybe I missed something up there for a moment. That isn't a stamp. It's loot, and I will take it nonetheless. I we killed this broken machine. Do you have anything new to say now? It's the idea. Broken. Don't danger. I killed the broken machine. Also, this is where the parade tank comes in. You are probably trying to base us into fighting the parade tank, weren't you? I refuse. It's just a friendly parade tank. Don't you dare, Niner. Nine S. No. Just a friendly tank. Stamp discovered. Yeah, we got the stamp. Imprint the stamp upon the card. Nine S. No. I thought he wouldn't auto aggro it. You know, I thought I was safe there. Whoops. I think we're going to be attacked by flying robots again, though. It's going to be out of my hands, and we're going to have to fight. Or do we just get to take in the nice sights? Like, look at the fireworks. And have a romantic little... Oh. <laughs> Disneyland ride. We've got a drop rate here. These ones we're not allowed to be passive with, apparently. Like, these ones in particular. Although I wonder if, like, you would completely pass it to this point, nothing would attack you. That'd be interesting to figure out. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Is it just a full loop now? It didn't drop us off at the, the area on the other end where there are probably stamps that we want. I'm going to have to go back around. I know, seriously. Whilst I can stop you... Don't attack this tank. It's harmless. It's just celebrating. I don't want you to attack it. <laughs> it is fine. 
We're in Disneyland. Just enjoy. Let them enjoy. Look. Okay. <laughs> Yummy idea. Um, so an android with red eyes in the world of sand. Like, it's just a friendly tank. It's a friendly parade float. There is nothing to be scared of. It won't let us on it to ride with them. So, oh, no, Bill. Look, it's just a friendly parade float. There's nothing to be scared of with these peace-loving robots. They're just having a lovely time. Hi. Don't mind me just um, trying to walk onto the trunk of your tank for a better camera angle. Don't mind me. There's the way out. <laughs> Got a little lost. See, they are harmless little individuals. Wait. How do we get back out? Because this takes us on to a ride that we cannot jump off of. How do we actually get out of here now? Like, really? How do we get out of here? Take me on the road. I need to get off at the other end of the amusement park. <laughs> like, we can't specifically jump off this. There was no way back out the tank the way that we had came in the first instance. So, how do we actually get out of here? We can't jump off the tank. Like, I actually need to get off at that stop there, back there. Or here. Like, this is our stop. We need to get off. Can you let us off at this stop here, please? No? I needed to get off at that stop there. Like, I really needed to get off at that stop back there. We can't even get off the train. Actually cannot get off the train at all. There we go. Interestingly... Okay, it stopped glitching. We were stuck at hyperspeed running. <laughs> cannot climb onto that. That was how we got... Oh, wait, there's a stall. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just a little glitchy. I think we can still get back out. Fine. Okay, we're out. <laughs> All this was some stupid stamps as well. All this... Some stupid stamp quests. <laughs> Irresistible stamps. You know you want them. I don't think it was worth it. I really don't. <laughs> you know, we enjoyed your... rides, I guess. But... This was not the rides that I was looking for. 
back into the main entrance of Disneyland. Then around to Hidden Leaf Village again, I guess. Because there's a stamp over there. And only because there's a stamp over there. You guys have a stamp for me. Stop talking to that one. Together, together, happiness always together. Hey, hey, surrender to love. You? Is it you hiding over here? Crying in the corner again? Acting like a doggo? Oh, stop, 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 stop. Let's stop coming up here. Let's stop, stand. let's do this thing. Okay, I don't think I love stamps that much. Like I'm liking them less and less. Less and less and less. Unless. There are two quests in there. Besides the stamps. <laughs> this village is hilarious. This time, sure, I'll stab with everyone. <laughs> you guys are being more and more creepy about these stamps. Don't want my ass stamped. Okay, we can't get round to that, but there looked like there was a path up. Um. Hmm. Big glowy redness. That's a body. Um. Broken machine has been repaired. A show. <laughs> Right there. Romeo 1. The Romeo 2. Oh, Romeo 2. <laughs> well, there are two Romeos and there are two Juliets and a third. That's not how love works. Juliet, Juliet, then I shall take thy life. Well, wait! <laughs> love. <laughs> and then it just leaves one Romeo and one Juliet, and they end up together in the battle of love. I expected the Romeos and the Juliets to fight themselves, not each other. Oh! Two Juliets? One Juliet, one Romeo? You're the last! Romeo and Juliet, just... Juliet lives alone forever, because she killed Romeo. Yeah, you could have left one alive and been with him happy. You could have been happy with him. You could have. You chose to kill him. Um, well, that I suppose this marks the end of our production of Romeo's and Juliet's. I suppose it does. As you exit, if you'd like to have your card stamped, I would. I think I earned my card being stamped after watching that. What did you think of the show? Well, this is a piece of literature from the other world. Mm, I believe it speaks to the cruelty of mankind. I came all the way from the village to see this play everyone's been talking about. So I haven't been this deeply moved by anything before. I'm going to go home and tell all my friends. It doesn't make any sense at all. Well, I mean, it kind of does. Like, you know, who's your true Romeo and who's your true Juliet? And, like, you know. <laughs> In the end, you might end up alone. Um, oh, Juliet, Juliet. Thinking of you makes me warm and fuzzy. So we started out with three Romans, three Juliets, and now there are none. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. 
If you don't stay with one, you might end up with none. Something along those lines, and you know, <laughs> don't be greedy. A scared girl will feel more sense of the shiny blue surface. Well, you all died to the boss that was here before. Overclock? I'm sure there are many philosophical things to gather from you. Bravo! The most truly a spectacular performance! Hi, I need my card stamped. Here you are. Thank you. Okay, let's get out of here. We've seen the performance. Of the Romeos and the Juliets! If only they put effort into being together rather than fighting. <laughs> they might have been together and been able to work it out. You know, they chose to fight, and even when there was but one Romeo and one Juliet, they still fought. Are there more stamps in there? 